Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name's Jesse, I'm down here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melville and today I'm running you through a thrilling 2017 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. We hope you enjoy the video, let's get stuck into it. You guys can take a look from the front and I'm gonna list off some key features. Packed inside this bad boy, 11 airbags, power windows, daytime running lights, GPS satellite navigation, a 14 speaker stereo sound system, and of course, Bluetooth USB connectivity. Now, fingers crossed we can cover all of the remaining features on this vehicle throughout the short amount of time we have to do this video. Okay, guys, let's begin. First up, the paint job is absolutely thrilling. Might be, you might notice a couple of specks of dust and whatnot. No big deal because the film team, us, we're just too quick for this clean team, okay? We always get to the cars before they do. Um, but upon purchase, we're gonna have this looking so sparkling, you won't even know the difference, okay? Between this and a 2020 vehicle, that is. Okay, cool. The paint job's looking great. The contrast, classic white, black, and the chrome finish. Check out this bull bar. There is nothing that is gonna stop your car. This is gonna mow through anything and protect you and your family inside, all right? While we're down here, you got the parking sensors um, uh, along the front here to help assist. Uh, notice this little square here? This thing pops out and sprays water up on your uh, headlights and cleans them. How convenient is that? Daytime running lights inside these headlights, uh, giving a really sleek, professional, and sexy appearance. Check out these guys, that's gonna allow you to communicate to the astronauts up in the satellites with NASA. Uh, they're that big, and there's, there's two of them, so there you go. Okay, what, lastly, rain-sensing windscreen wipers up on the windscreen. One less thing you need to uh, not focus on while you're driving, okay? They just sense the rain, they bang, they turn on for you. All right, time to start down the left-hand side. Check out the space between the tire and the vehicle. I can almost fit the entirety of my head inside there. And now this wheel, uh, great condition. Plenty of tread left in there, and I, you know, it might be a little bit dusty, no biggie. There's no scratches, okay? I'd rather a little bit of dust that we can clean off than any scratches. Okay, moving down the side, these bad boys fold in and they are heated. So if you're waking up in a cold environment, if you live up in the hills or you gotta get up at four o'clock in the morning, they're not gonna fog up on you, okay? They're freaking awesome. And let's continue down. We've got a step up plate, help the, the, the small people, the youngsters get inside the car. We have a darker application of tint along the back here, giving you a little bit of extra, uh, another layer of security and privacy to whatever valuables you may happen to have along the back seat, okay? Now here we are towards the back. Let's zoom in on our back left-hand tire. Just show you, show you that it's there, show you the quality. Okay, that'll do us. Here we are at the back, from the top to the bottom. Spoiler feature, reverse brake light along here. Nice big prominent back windscreen with the de-misting strips throughout. Spare tire. There is your reverse camera. Chrome badge. Something tells me warranty might be available. Reverse parking sensors. Look at that, looks to me like it's a brand new tow ball. And there's your electricity connection there. Okay, that's the back done, but it's time to go inside the back, all right? Now we've already prepared this before. Here is your, what, your, your scissor jack. Thank God that was there, I wouldn't know what to call it. I'm gonna move this out the way, place it down there. Speaking of down here, we've got a nice plastic guard strip along the bottom here, so it's not gonna damage your vehicle. It's gonna, this is gonna take the impact of anything that could potentially hit it. Um, okay, cool. Of course, this folds down. We've already folded this one down for you just to show you how it presents. And if I can have your attention up to the left-hand corner, that's how you lower the seat. It's all electronic, okay? You just hold it down to lower it, hold it back up to, to raise it back up, okay? Um, and it's as simple as that, really. The last feature I think I need to point out is the 100 watt, 220 volt power supply. So yeah, literally hook up anything to that, a microwave, your laptop charger, you name it, okay? Well, fingers crossed I covered everything in here, guys. I do notice some drink holders uh, to the left and right for your third row of passengers. Whack that back up there and wrap it up. Storage along the back door here. Okay, that'll do us. All right, follow me around the right-hand side of the vehicle. 
first up, and these features are the exact same on the other side as well, my friends. I did forget to mention the mud flap along the back here. Now while we're here, let's zoom in on the back right hand tire. That'll do us. And we're jumping up into the inside of the car. Chrome handlebar, speaker, speaker, electronic windows. As we move inside, fishnet storage on the back of the passenger and driver's seats. Check out that air conditioning display, the unit. Uh, it's, it's separate from the air conditioning in the front and the vents are located just along the roof there next to the um, stability handle there. Okay, um, heated seats and seat cooling features as well. There's um, a, a, I don't know if it's um, a, a vent or whatever, but it's got the technology in here to either cool you from beneath or heat you from beneath and in the back. Armrest, drink holders, if you don't want it, tuck it away. And that's pretty much gonna do us. Carpeted floor mats as well, that's the last thing I'll say. Um, that makes cleaning the vehicle so convenient. You just lift up the mat, flap out all the debris, the sand, the grass, put it back in, you've got a clean floor of the vehicle. Okay, see you later, and hello to the front. Once again, starting at the door, chrome handlebar, power window controls, window lock, lock and unlock of the vehicle. As we move in here from the top to the bottom, and it's already installed. You, you plug your phone into there. If you're an Apple user, I mean, this, this is the car for you, fingers crossed. As we drop down, odometer, what's this? That's your uh, adjustment for your side mirrors. Look at that, one touch engine start, okay? No more key, you just press that button and the engine fires up, it's wicked. A couple other features down here, but we're gonna move on. Steering wheel, leather, very nice to the touch. You got your, what's this, your uh, menu controls, phone controls, here is your volume controls. Now, I'm going to take the time to walk around to take you through these central features. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Okay, from the top to the bottom, you know how we do it by now. Air conditioning vents, CD player. Um, uh, there's your controls for your infotainment system. Get your map, you got a home page. Hook your phone up to this system as well and access all the compatible apps with the system. Think music streaming services, think your text messaging and any, anything else that might happen to work. Air conditioning controls. Um, you've got some storage here. Tuck it away. You wouldn't even know it's there. Uh, some traction and, and wheel lock controls here. Your, your four wheel drive. Um, engagement and disengagement. I press this, I've got some drink holders here. To the left hand side you've got your walkie talkie. Commander, come in commander! Ksh, we're taking heavy fire! We need backup! We need backup! You get the idea. Gear stick with all the usual suspects. Manual handbrake. Heated seats and cool, cooled seats. USB and an AUX input. 12 volt power supply for any accessories you want to equip. Little bit of storage here. Speaking of storage, let's talk about this. You got two buttons here. The first one opens up this necessity bay for storage, right? I close that down. The second one opens up the entire bay, okay? So it's lifted up that necessity storage, which is now here, and you've got all this room. That, that, that's almost like an esky in there, right? You can almost fit a six pack in there. Uh, it looks like we got, yep, yep, cool, that's it. I thought there was a 12 volt power supply in there, but no, I was wrong. You can also, there's another handle beneath here, bring this forward or take it back uh, to act as an armrest, okay? Just maneuver it into the position which is most convenient for you. Okay, cool. Now check this out. With, along with some other paperwork and receipts and whatnot, of course, we've got the warranty and the service history. Now, I'm not gonna go into great detail here. I'm just gonna show you that it's been looked after. First service, 2017 at 4,000 kilometers. Then at uh, February, 2018, August, 2018, March, 2019, uh, September, 2019, March, 2020, and February, oh, yesterday, fancy that. Yesterday, this was this was um, had its last service. Carried out used car safety inspection. Replaced the engine oil and the filter. So there you go, brand new oil, brand new filter. And Bob is your uncle, okay? Whack that back in there, and let's finish off inside, my friends. Nice, to the touch. 
sun visor. If you need some more protection from the sun, you got this little side plate. It's the same on the driver's side as well. I got a mirror here and a light, and that's gonna do me. Over here, now you might think this is sunglass storage. You'd be wrong. I dropped that down, and you got speed dealer sunglass mirror here, right? So you can see what the kids are getting up to in the back seat, all right? You just got that hyper vision. Awesome. Okay, cool. Your lights and, and, and lastly is your rear view mirror, guys. This has the anti-glare feature. So if you have some wanker behind you with his high beams on, happens all the, all the time, you just put the anti-glare on and that's gonna protect you, um, an extra layer of protection, okay? All right, that's gonna do us for the inside. Uh, leather seats, carpet floor mats, I say that that's going to do us for the inside and then I keep talking about what's on the inside. Um, last thing, and I tell you this is the last, seriously the last thing, electronic seat controls, okay? Up and down and, you know, no more dial, no more handle pumping up and down, any of that stuff. It's all electronic now. Okay, I lean down and I pop the hood. Now we're going to check out our last tyre. Now you know, all four tires are on the vehicle okay did you notice that guys I hope you caught that ready that this is for a big car you'd expect the hood to be really heavy it's not it's super light now the pistons to the left and the right hand side do take most of the weight for me but that's a pretty light hood considering soundproof bay along the top speaking of the engine bay let's take a closer look now guys, honestly, I don't know anything about engine bays. I've got no idea what I'm looking at. But I will tell you this. If I was buying a used vehicle, this is how I expect the engine bay to look. Clean, okay? Yeah, there might be a little bit of dust, but what engine bay doesn't have a speck of dust in it, all right? Now all you rev heads, I hopefully you guys can notice some little knickknacks, some cool little features in here that stand out to you. And uh, if you're not a rev head, and you don't know what's going on, take my word for it. I wouldn't be working here doing this job if I didn't trust the product, okay? Wouldn't waste my time. Now to finish off this video, guys, I need to tell you two things. You've noticed the warranty signs. Get warranty if you're gonna buy a car from us. Warranty has saved me and my personal vehicle so many headaches since I first bought it. It was the best thing I ever did. It's on the table for you, so take advantage of it. Also, same day finance approval is available with the finance team. So if you come in and take this bad boy for a test drive down Leach Highway and back and you wanna drive it home with you, um, you can. The guys will get onto the phone with the banks, sort it all out on the same day. It's so freaking convenient. Okay, that's done. We're done. Guys, thanks so much for watching. My name's Jesse. Check me out on Instagram at Jesse B. Celebrancy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll hear from you soon.